Hey guys, so here we have the MiG-15 from Hobby Lobby. Now this jet is a, a three cell jet running on a 64 or 65 millimeter fan. Comes with a 30 amp speed controller, if I'm correct. I'm pretty sure it was a 30 amp, not like a 20. Let's see if I can see it. It's turned upside down in there. There's a speed controller, no writing I can read. But I'm pretty sure it's a 30 amp. Uh, it comes with 9 gram servo for the elevator. Um, both elevator control surfaces are controlled by the single servo. There's two lines going up, one to each side of the elevator, which I have not completed yet. They just need to be attached. We have 9 gram servos in the wings, one for each aileron. And it's got a great paint scheme, blue on the bottom, red on the top, very easy for orientation. It has carbon rods all the way up the wing and up the wing. Now they do not connect into the fuselage. So what I did, and you can't see it because there's too much junk in here, I actually put a, another piece of uh, wood. It's, it's actually a kebab stick. You know, kebabs for making like chicken or beef kebabs. I used one of those and I stuck it through the plane, through the wing, in and through the body, and out to the other wing. So this wing and this wing are attached and glued together with a kebab. So that should help them hold on a lot more sturdy. And they're pretty sturdy with those carbon rods that they had originally in them. They hold pretty strong. I did the same thing up here. It actually had a carbon rod for the uh, elevators or the horizontal stabs. So there's a carbon rod going through and holding these together and holding them pretty tight. And there's a little bit of movement in them, but not much. And they also have carbon rods going up them. So all the, all the uh, wing surfaces have carbon rods, that's nice. <laughs> One thing I found out about this jet, uh, I used Foam Safe CA and Gorilla Glue. Uh, the Gorilla Glue was fine, it actually kind of overdid it here as you can see. A little too much Gorilla Glue there and I didn't wipe it off quick enough, but no big deal. I'm not, I'm not so picky about how my planes look like some people. So uh, a little bit of Gorilla Glue sticking out of here, but that's okay. But the one thing that did kind of bother me was I used Foam Safe CA, and you know they have the activator to make it dry quicker. Well, I used the activator on the uh, plane, and as you can see here, wherever the activator touched, the blue paint came right off. So uh, that happened in a few places. Happened up on my tail here a lot. Wherever that activator was sprayed, the blue paint came off. The red paint was fine, but the blue paint rubbed right off. So be careful using the activator with foam safe CA on uh, painted jets and might take off the paint so careful of that not a big deal like I said you know after a couple landings you're gonna get some scrapes and scratches so I don't really mind it especially since this is a belly lander you know you're gonna scrape it and scratch it a little bit so I don't really care about that but uh, you know it's kind of annoying um, other than that like I said it's got your three nine gram servos your 30 amp ESC comes with your fan pre-installed. The only thing I had to do on this thing to build it was put on the wings, put on the vertical and horizontal stabs. All real simple to do. It took me 20 minutes at the most. And then uh, you're going to have to put in your own receiver, which I have not done yet. That's why none of my control surfaces are hooked up, because I haven't put in a receiver and centered my servos yet. But I will be putting in a receiver soon. And uh, this jet came with a 1600 milliamp three cell battery so I'll be running it on a 16 or an 1800 milliamp battery I don't have any spare 16's I got the one that came with this jet but I do have lots of 1800's so you know it's not a big difference not a big difference in weight either so I'll be using an 1800 in this a lot <laughs> now this I do not expect it to go 100 miles per hour like my other jets it's got a 4300 uh, 4300 kV motor in it, so it should be pretty quick, but I'm expecting around 80, you know, nothing spectacular, nothing over 100, but 80 would be nice. <laughs> the uh, hatch here goes on, it clips in in the back with a foam connector, and then it <coughs> magnets on the front, so uh, that's it, it's, it's all air-cooled actually, which is nice too, I'll show you this real quick, this hatch again. On the inside, you can see that uh, balsa wood. You see my finger? Well, that's right where the ESC and the battery are. So, 
it's kind of nice. It's going to be cooling the ESC and battery during the whole flight. So that's a nice little uh, cooling that they put into that. But uh, we'll be getting this finished up. Like I said, all it needs is a receiver. We'll be getting it finished up and uh, in the air for you guys to see soon. So keep a lookout for the MiG-15 by uh, Hobby Lobby.